welcome to another special edition of Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains. Now, one of the big parts about the mysteries, the legends, the myths of the Superstition Mountains are the Mexican miners that were up in that area. But did they really exist? Let's go to one of the sources of the stories and he'll tell us all about it, Clay Wurst. Well, there's quite a history behind that, quite a story behind it because you see, there are legends that during either the colonial Spanish period or the Mexican period, that there was Mexican mining activity here in the Superstition Mountains, up in the Four Peaks area, here at Goldfield, but the historians say no, no Mexican mining activity uh, very far north of the present Mexican border. And who discovered it? Well, in the 1940s, George U. Young, digging out here, dug into some old hand-chopped ironwood timber. It was a very, very small shaft, just big enough that as he cleaned it out, he could just squeeze down it. It went down about 40 feet. It was all hand-chopped ironwood. Now, I mentioned Goldfield came on late. By the time, Go by the time Goldfield came online, we had mill sawed timber here. That was hand chopped stuff. And how would they know that this is Mexican timber? When uh, George U. Young dug into that old shaft, the director of the uh, Arizona Department of Mines and Mineral Resources came out here and inspected it and pronounced it an Antigua. That is, it predated any Anglo activity in this area. And there is, back in the Superstition Mountains, uh, evidence of infrastructure of mining back in the Mexican period, also more so in the Four Peaks than in the superstitions. But Mexicans definitely mined here. We've got another strange thing up north of Goldfield a ways. There were for years five saguaro cactus, all of them at least well over a hundred years old, in a perfectly straight line, you could have strung a chalk line down them, all of them spaced exactly the same measured distance apart. Now the question is, did they point back here towards Goldfield, or did they point up to something in the Superstition Mountains? But that definitely dates to the Spanish the Spanish period, the Mexican period, I'm sorry. Well, there you have it. Another special edition of Mysteries of the Superstition Mountains. And today we learned what we needed to know about were there really Mexican miners up there? One of the big mysteries of the Superstition Mountains. <laughs>